back in June of this year, and you can get to this article here on the internet, the Vatican hired Obama, as they did Al Gore many years ago, to further push Rome's long prophesied global warming agenda, regardless of the science debunking it left and right. As students of prophecy, we know they plan to use what they renamed climate change to enforce the mark. And they changed the name from global warming to climate change due to the global embarrassment regarding the fact that the planet is not warming, but actually cooling instead. We know this is the plan Satan came up with so as to garner billions into his camp thinking keeping Sunday holy will stop the calamities as they soon increase off the chart, and they will increase as soon as the Pope gets even more poor souls to follow his lead. This Pope, who like all the previous Popes, is embroiled in his very own molestation scandal as we speak. And this is just one of many ways he and all the previous Popes have finally been exposed in modern times as the prophesied man of sin. And as this article declared back in June, they plan to do something in October. Well, actually, they're doing it now as I'm making this video. That is actually a direct attack on the God of heaven. Over the centuries, evidence has been revealed of the popes being devil worshippers, and those facts were presented all along by those with Bibles in hand. But now we are in the very last days when Satan no longer bothers to hide his bold agenda because he knows his time is short. The Pope, the last few decades, has been caught openly embracing Satan as their God of choice. I mean, everything from declaring Jesus is weak and Satan is strong in writing and on video to building the Vatican audience hall in a way that visibly honors Satan as the God of Roman Catholicism. And so one can expect this man will do all he can to anger the God of heaven. Notice what the prophet Jeremiah exposed in his day regarding the plans and actions of the pagans in his day, all the way up to the popes in our day. When speaking of the evil practices of those embracing paganism, we see in Jeremiah 7.18 that the children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods, that they may provoke me to anger. And yes, now that we are in the last days, this so-called Queen of Heaven has been exposed before all that understand basic Bible doctrine, as well as prophecy. Only those with Bibles in hand know that this so-called Queen of Heaven is not Mary, the mother of Jesus, as Rome claims her to be. We now have rock-hard evidence it's actually a demon claiming to be Mary. All one needs to do is take what this demon says in those many apparitions, and you will find none of it can be verified in Scripture as being Christian in nature. In fact, it always ends up being the exact opposite, doctrinally speaking. Now, with all that said, notice what this article says here. The Pope commanded his people to do this in October all around the world so as to further push the climate change agenda towards a global acceptance wherein his mark can eventually be enforced. This article here states, Catholics in more than 40 countries across the world will unite this Sunday to fight the forces of evil prowling the earth and the church by praying the rosary. Again, the Queen of Heaven, as the pagans called this demon thousands of years ago, and Rome now claims to be Mary, the mother of Jesus, is one that lives only to anger the Creator God of Heaven. And long ago, this demonic apparition was declared to be the Lady of the Rosary. Compile that with her blasphemous title as Queen of Heaven, and you have one very angry demon doing all he can to anger God. But why the rosary? Well, if you check out my page about the rosary of Rome or watch the videos I made on this, you're going to find that the rosary has been used by pagans, Muslims, and Satanists for centuries. And now Roman Catholics are about to use it all around the world without realizing this act will anger the God they hope to appeal to. For it is written in the word of God, and even declared by Jesus Christ himself in Matthew chapter 6, verse 7, that when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think they shall be heard for their much speaking. And so Rome, again, purposely does what Jesus says not to do, as they did back when the demon claiming to be the queen of heaven had them making buns eons ago. One year ago, it was only Poland praying the rosary on their borders. I actually did a video on this. And this prayer, this rosary, is nothing but a bunch of repetitive prayers to Mary, the Queen of Heaven. And this was done under the orders of the Pope. And now, one year later, 40 nations have decided to join the Pope in a worldwide blasphemous prayer 
to the so-called Queen of Heaven. And so we know it won't be long before all nations are going to join hands with the man of sin in Rome, who, under direct order from Satan, masquerading as Jesus Christ when he stands on earth and claims to be him, at that time, he will demand Sunday laws to stop what he calls climate change. Christian prophecy is that accurate. Thank you for watching. God bless.